John Potok alongside your role model, Rick Lieb, the boss of Sunbo Smyrno, and once again, special guest, Keith Kennedy from 96.5 WKDD. And I just, he has a gift for you, Rick. Okay, let's take a call. Hold on a minute. <laughs> PWW, you're on the air. Hi, Rick. Hey, let me tell you, your commercial, your promo, mm -hmm. John was right. It's pathetic. Is it? Yeah, but you know what? She's a crack whore. <laughs> Rick's a crack whore. Okay. Hey, keep your hands off the phone. Keep your little girly hands. I wanted to tell you how fantastic you were. Yeah, right. You just said my commercial was pathetic. Your commercial's pathetic, but you're still my, my number one. Oh, okay. You're well, I take back the crack one. horse stuff, I guess. Sounds right. a lot take like your back. mom, right? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Keith, I want to thank you for coming on the show today. Sure. Um, I understand you have a gift here for Rick. Cause yeah, I had the uh, extreme pleasure of meeting Rick's uh, mother the other night. Oh, jeez. And uh, we, was, we were, had a big uh, WKDD event Friday night. Your mother was sitting in the second row. Cause and what turns my stomach about my mother is my mother happens to be a Keith Kennedy fan, but she's not a fan of the role model, and I don't understand that. I All mom turned her back on me. She's probably ashamed of you. I mean, with a mouth <laughs> like that, I mean, I wouldn't claim you either. I guess it's because I'm a pimp and I had to smack her around every once in a while. <laughs> yeah. Rick, how are you going to say that about your own mother? Hey, you know, these women, they got to make money for me. All right, well, can he get on with his gift? You're going to keep interrupting like you do the plugs. Oh, he'll keep interrupting because he's got no man. All right, go ahead. And you got no swab for TV either. I mean, how many times you <coughs> wiping your nose and everything? Yeah, I got the exact count for you, Keith. Yeah, it's it about 43, 43. It doesn't matter. <laughs> all that matters is I look damn good while I'm on the air. Yeah, it's that's it's right. It. That's all that matters. <laughs> look, Forget the fact he has no natural talent whatsoever. <laughs> so I, I think it's listen, all natural talent. I mentioned, I mentioned on stage the other night at Tangier that I was wanting to well, basically kick What a your surprise. Ass. You were at a restaurant. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? And you know what? <laughs> Nobody knew who the hell you were. But everybody kept coming up to your mother after I explained who you were. They kept apologizing to your mother because they felt bad that she had a degenerate son like you. <laughs> but the kick was I had a woman come up to me a little later. I was out a little later on. A little woman came i got to tell you this story. She came up. She says she knows a role model. She says she'd been with a role model. She says she knows Mr. Little Role Model. <laughs> Covered yeah, by I'll a rose. <laughs> and she, she told me a little story, and I said, I'm going to help him out just a little bit. So I went down. I bought you a little gift. I wrapped it up real nice. Even got because it's, it's, it's a love gift. Because I love you. Oh, right. I got little hearts. Just because you have a set of titties doesn't mean you have to love me. <laughs> I got a, yeah. Uh, and it is cold in here today, too. Have you seen that? I got to start wearing Band-Aids next week. Wow. Okay. Right. But I got a little <laughs> tissue paper there for you, and I, got, I went down to the drugstore and got you a little gift based on what this woman told me. He a little bit. Bottom experience gift. with you. Viagra. That's right. Because she said that you were together. Well, hold it up here. Let's see the box. I never even seen a box of that stuff. Me don't either. don't lie, champ. You know you have. No, I want to, but yeah, I have to stare through it through the windows. <laughs> and it looks like you've already used one. <laughs> it sounds expensive. Go I can't say it for myself. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> the figures I'd get a open and used box of Viagra. Hey, look, you don't have to use Viagra when you're jerking off. Hey, okay? but it's the stuff that counts, Rick. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you very much. Yeah. I'll Let's be sure to the feed it to my dog. I, I any... felt so bad for the girl. I said, I'll help you out yeah. next time. You feed it to your dog. You're going to be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> PWW, you're on the air. I want to say one thing to the role model. Anybody that's on the poll against you, I'm going to vote for them because you're a sleazy slut, a male slut. Ooh, Rick. Oh, and he just and, got Viagra. And speaking of being a male slut, ringrest.com just asked me for an interview. If anybody doesn't know. <laughs>